Hey everyone, welcome to the first video in our myology series, where we will explore ovine muscles in detail. We will look at how muscles originate and how they insert using cool 3D visuals. First, we will discuss muscles of the pectoral girdle or shoulder girdle. First, we should start with the trapezius muscle. Okay, trapezius is a broad and triangular muscle. You can clearly see. So this whole muscle is the trapezius muscle. It is a broad and triangular muscle. It extends along the dorsal midline. You can see. So this is the dorsal midline. Okay. The muscle extends along the dorsal midline from the level of atlas to the end of the thoracic region. Okay. So here you can see atlas. So the muscle starts from here and ends in this region. Means up to the end of the thoracic region. So, if I zoom this, you can see. Okay. So, the muscle extends from atlas. So, this is the atlas. It extends from atlas, okay, to the region of the end of the thoracic region. So, this is the end of the thoracic region. Trapezius consists of two parts. Okay. You can see the whole muscle is the trapezius muscle. Okay, it has two parts. So, this part and this part. So, this part is called trapezius services, the cranial part. So, this part is called trapezius services and this part is called trapezius thoracis, the dorsal part. So, trapezius muscle has two parts, trapezius services, trapezius services and trapezius thoracis. Origin of the muscle, the muscle originates from ligamentum nuchi and supraspinous ligament okay you can see so i will rotate okay now you can see okay so you can see so this is the ligamentum nuchi okay and this ligament is the supraspinous ligament okay so, the trapezius originates from ligamentum nuchi and supraspinous ligament from the level of atlas to the 12th dorsal vertebra. Okay. So, if I zoom this. Okay. So, now you can clearly see. So, that's actually the muscle is that side. Okay. Uh, to show you the origin point, I have removed the muscle of this side actually. Okay. Muscle is on that side. So, you can see this is the origin point. Okay. So, the muscle originates from in this area. Okay. Atlas. Okay. So, from the level of atlas to the level of, if you see, atlas to the your 12th thoracic vertebra. You can see. So, the muscle originates from this point. This is the so in this area you will find so this is the supraspinous ligament and this is the atlas okay so from level of atlas to the level of the 12th thoracic vertebra you will find clear so the muscle originates from ligamentum nuchi in this area ligamentum nuchi and the supraspinous ligament supraspinous ligament okay uh, from the level of atlas from the level of means from the level of spine of the atlas okay to the level of the 12th thoracic vertebra ingestion the muscle injects into the tuberous part of the spine of the scapula you can clearly see here so this is the muscle okay the origin of the muscle is from the ligamentum nuchi and this supraspinous ligament and now the muscle they the muscle injects into this point so this area so this is the scapular spine and it is actually called as what tuberous part of the spine somewhere at the middle of the Scapular spine, you will find a tuberous part. So, they are actually the muscle insert. So, let me again further zoom you. So, you can see clearly. See, so this is the tuberous part of the scapular spine. Okay. So, the muscle inserts into the tuberous part of the scapular spine. Also, in this area, you will find the scapular fascia. Okay. So, the muscle, the trapezius muscle, inserts into the tuberous part of the spine and scapular fascia clear then what is the action of the muscle to elevate the 
solder as a whole okay so what will happen it will elevate the solder if you see this is the solder so the muscle elevates the solder as a whole blood supply muscle is supplied with deep cervical arteries dorsal and intercostal arteries okay nerve supply the muscle is supplied with spinal accessory nerve or 11th cranial nerve okay one point i will say here in the myology series we mainly focus on the origin of the muscle injection of the muscle its action regarding the details of the blood supply nerve supply we'll discuss in the angiology and the neurology chapter next muscle we'll discuss is rhomboidus muscle it is roughly triangular and thick it is laterally covered by trapezius muscle okay now you can see so this is the trapezius muscle actually and below the trapezius muscle okay you can see here so below the trapezius you will find rhomboidus muscle so we have to first remove the trapezius muscle and below that we can find the rhomboidus muscle because uh, rhomboidus muscle is laterally covered by trapezius muscle so now you see just we remove the trapezius muscle okay and below the trapezius muscle you can find the rhomboidus muscle roughly triangular muscle and thick muscle origin of the muscle the muscle originates from ligamentum nuchi you can see this is the ligamentum nuchi uh, from ligamentum nuchi muscle originates and the spines of the thoracic vertebrae to so here we will find spines of the thoracic vertebrae from first to about 7th or 8th so to show this i am rotating in that side so from this side you can clearly see okay so you can see so from this side you can clearly see the origin point to show you the actual origin i have removed the muscle from this side okay so you can see here so the so this muscle is the your this green color somewhat green color muscle okay muscle is not actually green but for proper visualization and identification uh, i have given the color green the muscle originates from so this is the ligamentum nuchi okay and also what from the spine of thoracic vertebrae you can see this is the first first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth okay so from the spines of the your first to seventh or eighth thoracic vertebrae and also from the ligamentum nuchi so this is the origin of the muscle okay so this area so this structure this point so from this structure the muscle originates that is your rhomboidus muscle then injection of the muscle the muscle injects into the medial surface of the cartilage of the scapula okay you can see so you can see so this is the lateral surface of the scapula the lateral dorsal border okay on that side okay means in this side if you see just you can see here so here you will find the scapular cartilage on the medial aspect you see in this area you will find the scapular cartilage so this is the lateral side okay so the muscle injects into the medial aspect of the scapular cartilage so this is the injection point of the muscle you can clearly see i can also rotate like this you can see like this okay you can see from this angle you can clearly see so this is the medial aspect of the scapular cartilage so in this area or the medial aspect you will find the scapular cartilage and into the scapular cartilage rhomboidus muscle injects clear okay action to draw the shoulder upward and forward blood supply branches of deep cervical and dorsal scapular arteries dorsal branch of costo cervical artery nerve supply fifth sixth seventh eighth cervical spinal nerves now only you remember the name of the blood vessels and nerve supply in the angiology and the neurology we will discuss detail the course of the blood vessels and the nerve supply next muscle we will discuss is the brachiocephalicus muscle okay a long thin flat muscle you can see so this muscle is the brachiocephalicus muscle you see 
ब्राक्यो मीन्स रिलेटेड टू द आर्म ओके सेफालिकस मीन्स हेड दैट मीन्स द मसल एक्सटेंड्स फ्रॉम योर हेड रीजन टू द आर्म रीजन दैट्स वाई द नेम इज ब्राक्यो सेफालिकस ओके ब्राक्यो सेफालिकस ए लॉन्ग थीन फ्लैट मसल यू कैन सी लॉन्ग थीन फ्लैट मसल एक्सटेंड्स अलॉन्ग द साइड ऑफ द नेक फ्रॉम हेड टू द आर्म ओके सो दिस इज द नेक एरिया नेक एरिया so the muscle is present along the side of the neck area extending from your head so the head to the arm region it lies directly beneath the skin means in the living animal so just above this you will find the skin so just below the skin you will find the brachiocephalicus muscle if you see brachiocephalicus has two parts okay so th this is one part and this is one part the first this part okay so this is the dorsal part this is the dorsal part of the brachiocephalicus muscle okay it is called as so this part is called as cleido occipitalis okay and this ventral part it is called cleido mastoideus muscle again repeating brachiocephalicus muscle has two part one is the dorsal part so this is the dorsal part okay dorsal part is called as your what cleido occipitalis and the ventral part is called as the cleido mastoideus okay so first we will discuss the origin of this dorsal part the cleido occipitalis okay so the origin is from occipital bone ligamentum nuchi you can clearly see okay you can clearly see okay so this is the ligamentum nuchi area and this is the occipital bone so this cleido occipitalis originates from the occipital bone and ligamentum nuchi that's why the name is the cleido occipitalis because it originates from you can see occipital bone so this is the occipital bone so from the occipital bone the muscle originates okay and in this area we will also find the ligamentum nuchi so that's why the name is cleido occipitalis then this is the ventral part this is called cleido mastoideus if you see the origin it originates from mastoid process of the petrous part of the temporal bone you can see so now simply just remember the name when you study the skull you will know about the structure okay so here actually you can see so this is the para mastoid process and this is the mastoid process okay so this is the so this area so we can also zoom it you can also zoom it okay now you can see the origin point of the muscle so the muscle originates from the mastoid process so here we will find the mastoid process okay of the petrous part of the temporal bone okay then wing of the atlas you can see clearly this is the atlas bone so this is the wing of the atlas so the so this muscle originates from mastoid process wing of the atlas and from the mandible you can clearly see this is the mandible okay so this is the origin point of the cleido mastoideus again i am repeating the cleido mastoideus muscle originates from you can see the mandible bone okay mandible bone and here you will find the mastoid process here you will find the mastoid process of the petrous part of the temporal bone and also you can clearly see this is the wing of the atlas okay so this is the origin point injunction both the dorsal and ventral part unite together you can see so this is the dorsal part this is the ventral part okay now at the point of injunction both the part they unite together they unite together here and injures to the crest of the humerus distal to the deltoid tubercity okay okay in the humerus we will study okay So let me zoom this part. Okay, you can see. So this structure is the crest of the humerus. Okay, crest of the humerus, and this is the deltoid tuberosity. So both the dorsal part and the ventral part they unite together and they insert into the crest of humerus. So this is the again I am repeating. The dorsal part, cleido occipitalis, ventral part, cleido mastoideus. at the injunction point they unite together and they insert into the crest of the humerus distal to the 
this one delta tuberosity here so you can see so this is the exact okay injection point of the your brachiocephalicus muscle action of the muscle when the head and neck are fixed to draw the limb forwards and extend the shoulder joint when the limb is fixed the two sides muscle together extend the head and neck blood supply inferior cervical arteries carotid and the vertebral arteries nerve supply ventral branches of the cervical spinal nerve your accessory 11th cranial nerve and axillary nerve the next muscle is latissimus dorsi muscle you can see so this large muscle you can see so this muscle is the latissimus dorsi muscle it is very wide muscle you can see the muscle is very wide extending on the lateral wall of the thorax okay the muscle is found on the lateral wall of the thorax okay from the dorsal lumbar spine to the arm so this is the spine of the your thoracic vertebra and the lumbar vertebra okay so the muscle extends from the dorsal lumbar spine to the arm region okay to the arm region it has an aponeurotic origin that means so you can see we will discuss to so hear the from this the muscle originates so if the origin point is in the form of a thin sheet not a tendon that is called aponeurotic origin so latissimus dorsi as aponeurotic origin means the muscle originates in the form of a thin sheet not tendon here which is succeeded by wide muscular portion okay so at the beginning it is in the form of a thin sheet but after that it becomes very wide and muscular so you can clearly see so this large muscle is the your latissimus dorsi muscle extending from thoraco lumbar spine to the arm region origin muscle originates from the superficial layer of thoraco lumbar fascia okay you can see so this is the you can see this white sheet like structure so this is the thoraco lumbar fascia okay the muscle originates from thoraco lumbar fascia from the fourth thoracic to the last lumbar spine okay we can see from this side if you see okay so somewhat this so somewhat this is the spine of the your fourth thoracic vertebra so from this it originates okay it will the fascia thoraco lumbar fascia originate from this somewhat from the fourth spine of the fourth thoracic vertebra to the lumbar region okay so the origin is from the superficial layer of thoraco lumbar fascia from the fourth thoracic spine to the last lumbar spine you can see this is the last lumbar spine this is the fourth spine of the this is the spine of the fourth thoracic vertebra spine of the your last lumbar spine okay and the muscle originates here you can clearly see injection the injection is teres tuberosity of the humerus you can see the origin is from thoraco lumbar spine okay and injection is what you can see this is the injection means this is the humerus on the medial aspect you will find teres tuberosity of the humerus okay so we can see also so this is the lateral aspect of the humerus muscle injects into the medial aspect we can see also if you rotate at this angle so we can also see okay you can see here so this is the medial surface of the your sept of the humerus okay and here you will find so this structure can you see this structure so this is called your what teres tuberosity of the humerus so latissimus dorsi originates from your what latissimus dorsi originates from thoraco lumbar spine or fascia in this area and injects into the this structure the teres tuberosity of the humerus clear action to flex the shoulder joint blood supply thoraco dorsal and dorsal intercostal arteries nerve supply thoraco dorsal nerve thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a like share it with your friends and let me know 
वॉट यू थिंक इन द कमेंट्स